So now in this video, we're going to come back to my uh, engine star right here. They're called portable generators. I think that's just because they generate alternating current right there. It doesn't actually generate electricity. It stores it in a battery and uh, outputs it. You can do AC or uh, DC right there. We have the input here. So this is intended for uh, using solar to charge it. There's also a uh, power supply with a barrel plug. So I have the barrel plug size right here. This one you can just screw down wires right there. And I'm gonna use my power supply. So basically my power supply is gonna do the exact same thing as the one that they plug in. But we can see the voltage in the current here. So we're just gonna right now uh, pretend like it's a 19 volt battery with current limited to uh, 2.6 volts. And the reason why I say battery is because the battery in this is not uh, terribly large. And for what you pay, you do get the alternating current and all this other stuff. So it's probably worth it for the money. But what you pay for the battery storage is a lot of money buying it in this unit compared to a battery. So if you get extra batteries and you can limit the current or whatnot, you can use them to charge this. This is uh, the point of this video. So I'm going to uh, plug it in right there. And right there, you can see that it is charging. We can look at the power supply. So as I said before, the uh, adapter that uh, they sent, the power supply, I should say, 19 volts, 3.4 uh, amps. This power supply can only provide 2.6 amps. So it has to lower the voltage in order to provide 2.6 amps right there. We uh, can go back to the voltage and uh, go down and then it would provide more but in any case we're going to go down i think is it 14 or 13. okay looks like 13 we can still charge it at least at 2.6 in but there you can see 12 volts the current drops to almost uh, nothing right there and uh, so it's not charging even though it knows that uh, there we go it says 0.5 watts right there so a little current is trickling in but hardly any we go up uh, to 13 and there's more so we have this range of uh, voltage that we can apply. We know at least 13 will work. I'm just gonna go back to 19. So, we have uh, that. And again, I'm just doing a simple test here because I'm working seven days a week right now. And uh, so any videos that I do are gonna just be uh, short and simple. I should be able to get AC if I hit the switch button, but it won't uh, produce AC. It's still showing DC, so I think you could uh, charge it with DC and then use DC right there, but not AC. So I'm going to uh, unplug this, and uh, so now it's not charging anymore. We hit the uh, switch button there. Fan just kicked in for a little bit right there, and uh, we have AC up there. So it says zero watts, but it is powering this uh, unit right there. So this needs such little power that... Uh, it must not even display. So just show you that's what I'm powering right there. So in any case, as I said before, just a short video, still working a lot of hours, and uh, I'll just do these short, fun ones occasionally. Hopefully you still enjoy them though. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen, and check out links down below. They help a lot. I'll see you in the next video.